What's up, everybody? This is the Jedi. Um, the lying whore is not going to be found guilty. There, I said it. I had to do this because I brought you the documentary and I laid out the case, the evidence, and why the bitch was lying and why this was premeditated murder. Then, the video before this I had to put out because I found evidence showing that those doors on those apartments are sure closed. That they close completely. It's interesting that they, one of the warrants they got was to remove the front door from her apartment and his. I suggest to you they're going to try and hide the fact that those doors cl slam themselves shut. It won't stand because the attorney on the case, he knows it. You know, and he's there in the inside edition piece. So I had to bring that because that was a critical part of the evidence that I laid out. Because I had told you about it and that I knew about it, but now I had a video to show you that. <clears throat> I'm bringing this because I need to tell you that the bitch is not going to be found guilty. Because, and to get you ready, because the bottom line is, the whole way they put this Hocus Pocus story together, everything that I laid out in the timeline, her lying ass story, the fact that the district attorney, the chief of police, the Texas Rangers, nobody could fucking arrest this fucking praying mantis ass bitch. But here's the thing. She went to a different county and turned herself in, everybody. She went to a different county. I'm going to tell you more about that in a second. There's two links that, that are in the description box down below. You need to click on those. That's what you're going to watch. One of them is this. This is a video of both of them living and breathing and doing stuff my problem is he's in the fucking room with a bunch of fucking white ass people you understand and unfortunately a lot of our brothers and sisters come here from the Caribbean or they come here from you know um, the, uh, the, the continent or something they don't know these people are the fucking devil you understand so he's in vulnerable situations that we would never be in well most of us you know what I mean? Like brothers, unless they just on that white bullshit and trying to be Jaden Smith or some shit, they just not going to be just up with a bunch of fucking white people and ain't none of their ass around. Nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They've shown us we can't do that. You see? Going way back. You see? So it's a short video, but you get a you get a chance to hear him talking, and you know it's him, you know, so you get a better sense of him. So you're gonna watch that. <clears throat> you're also going to watch this, this toothless whore, because, and this is the most important. I'm not going through it. It's only it's a, it's less than a half hour, but I'm not. I just can't. I can't. You need to watch this because A, you learn that she turned herself in in a different county. And the questions that the reporters are asking clearly suggest to us that there is ground, there will be grounds now for a change of venue. She's talking on both sides of the fence. She's trying to tell them, you need to stop asking us questions so that we don't taint, you know, or whatever. But really, that's not it. She wants to be able to come back to this and say, well, it was because of certain things got out and that's why it's been moved out of our jurisdiction. Because she's shown you from night one, her and that black ass police chief, that they are black bitches that can't do a fucking thing for their people, even though they're in power. You understand? Oh, by the way, I saw a video clip, y'all. 
um, it was saying, Can, could the police chief have arrested this whore? She's at some, um, look like she's in a, one of them college classrooms, you know, with the stadium seating and shit. There she is with her with her fucking hair all close and the too much fucking makeup and trying to be. I cannot stand when black women do that shit. How many times will we say it could just be a fucking security guard? They still trying to be a fucking beauty pageant queen, bitch. Either you're a beauty pageant queen or you're a fucking security guard. Pick one. Cause it tells me a lot about you when you're trying to be a fucking beauty queen. So there she is trying to be a fucking beauty queen. But there's a uh, there's a young law student or whatever he is that's sitting behind her, and she's telling the audience, you know, I wouldn't, be, I couldn't arrest because of because of federal laws that prohibit me and this that, and she just tells this out like it's the truth, and there's no merit to it at all. And then they interview him, and he's like, Nah, this is like, is she just not aware of the law? Like, what is she saying? Like, I couldn't believe she was even saying that. You see, so fuck her and fuck this bitch right here. You see. We gotta start calling out our fucking people that you can in places that would you where you could fucking affect justice and you don't. I can't. Anyway, that's why I can't watch her ass. All right, but you learn that and you also just see that this is definitely going to, uh, it's going left on us. You understand what I'm saying? It's going left. So you need to watch that. <clears throat> But here's our main reason why. Because they've shown from the beginning there's no intent to uh, punish her. You understand? She was given from the beginning. And in that previous video that I just showed you, why you're going to watch that, is because they ask her, well, the fact that she was allowed to be uh, not arrested for three fucking days suggests you're giving her preferential treatment as if she was on duty and the bitch was not. And you know what the fucking horse tooth horse said? We, it is our goal to make sure that justice is always dispensed in this county equally to all of our citizens. You see, she's a fake bitch. I can't even, oh my God, I can't. <sighs> calm down, Jedi. Calm down. Calm down. So, she failed to act on the 6th, as did the fucking fake bitch ass police chief. These are black bitch slave ass bitches. They are not queens, and we don't know them. You understand? They are not of us. And then the run around with the Texas, Texas Ranger and the Dallas police and all the bullshit. And the bitch was allowed to go to another whole county to turn herself in. I can't. All that leads you up to why. Uh, leads us up to this and me laying out for you why she's not going to fucking be charged. This is a the arrest warrant, everybody. And so this is... Uh, one of the things that you present in a grand jury you understand like this is your charge when you get an arrest warrant you gotta go to a magistrate and you gotta tell them why you need this warrant cause remember you're supposed to have quote unquote rights in this country oh that's a laugh but let's assume that were true you're supposed to have rights so when you go into somebody's home or when you're going to arrest somebody and they're not out committing an offense or something and you know something like this you have to have a warrant you have to prove to a magistrate that this person is guilty of something and this is why you need to be able to go there or let's say it's a location and you think there's drugs there that judge is going to want to see show me why you think there's drugs there because I can't just have you knocking down somebody's door and that's not even it so you got to be able to show that. And if you prove your evidence to the satisfaction of that magistrate, magistrate then you get your search you get your search warrant or your arrest warrant. Keep that in mind. So that's what this is supposed to be about. But is it? Let's zoom this in a little bit. Bitch zoom, goddammit. What the 
fuck? Finally. Oh, when you do that, it just shrinks it. Like, what the fuck is that about? Whatever, dude. Anyway. Now, the other problem we have with this is this warrant is from the Texas Rangers, which we already discussed in the documentary. We also know that they didn't arrest her. She turned herself in. So one could almost say this is voidable. This is voidable. Because if she's not aware of the warrant and she's in custody or has turned herself in and bailed out, this would be voidable. Like it never happened. That's our second problem. So we got the Texas Ranger and the fact that it's voidable, potentially. In my view, it's voidable. All right. Now, the language is, you're alerting all units and everybody that would know in law enforcement that this person is, you know, wanted, basically. All right. Then now, uh, this person, of which offense, he is a, wait. Okay, is to be found county before him, blah, 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 is said county immediately, then, nah, 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 nah. All right. Of which offense he is accused by the written complainant, which is the Texas Rangers, under oath or affirmation, filed, which is the Texas Rangers, filed before me. That's the magistrate, the judge. They're saying this person under oath represented this to me. Hmm? Herein, Fail not, but of this writ make due return, showing how you have executed the same. All right. Then it's the witness of official signature, and I'm over it. Now, you're supposed to now prove a crime because you want this person arrested. But what ends up happening is it's just her story. There's no, she's in violation of this code, or we suspect this crime, or any of that. It's just her story. So this is weak. You understand? It has no teeth. So remember, from the 6th, the district fucking attorney doesn't fucking arrest her. And indict her ass. And charge her with murder. Either there's the Bitch ass black ass police chief. Fuck her. And that greasy bitch that gave birth to her. That fat nasty bitch. You see? The Texas Rangers don't do a fucking thing. The Dallas police don't do nothing. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they are not trying to fucking do anything to this woman. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And this further proves it. And when you watch that video of that damn district attorney at her damn fake ass press conference, it should be more clear to you. They're setting this up for a possible uh, ch change of venue, p potentially. I think my money's kind of on that. A change of venue and definitely a weak ass thing to the grand jury where the grand jury refused to indict and they can all just say well the grand jury wouldn't indict we don't know why they wouldn't indict we just don't know why and remember the grand jury is secret so you never see they bitch ass I don't even know if they ever even existed and they just come out and tell you well they did, they wouldn't indict and then the other thing the suspect about the fucking uh, district attorney bitch is that she's like you know and they were doing their investigation but we're doing our investigation make sure we're getting all the evidence and we're doing it all and she makes it sound like they're fucking investigating the Chernobyl incident or the fucking Kennedy assassination or something bitch it was a unlawful entry and somebody was killed what evidence are you gonna be what you said you said way to watch it just hear her and you'd be like what case are she, is she talking about I promise you, the way she stands up there and talks about it, you would think they're gathering fucking evidence from the fucking Challenger disaster, dude. I'm not making this up, everybody. I'm not making this up. 
I'm not. I'm not. Anyway, uh, like I say, they just put her story and that's it. That's it. So, there's no indictment or anything going on here as far as like the Rangers saying this is why we wanted the the, re the the arrest warrant because we think she's guilty of a crime then you don't put the crime you just tell her story and help her out in the process nah I've said it a million times I'm gonna say it again it ain't about what they do what we gonna do? This is the Jedi.